Go ahead and pop up. We're just going to chat for a second first. Okay, cool. All right, give me a little background, kind of what's been going on. So for me, it's always lower back. Okay. And part of it, I think, is because uh, I'm sitting down a lot while I'm doing okay. office work. Uh -huh. But also, when I'm playing pickleball, a lot of it is, you know, you're standing, you can't stand in the kitchen. So you're, a lot of it, you're leaning to get as close to the net as possible. Okay. So you're, you're obviously bent over a lot. Um, in, a, in a lot of like stretching, awkward positions. Like side to side. So, okay. Um, you know, after playing for two or three hours, my back hurts. And you're on hard court surface, mm -hmm. so I, I'm sure that doesn't help. Yeah. So lower back has always been an issue. I, I even have, at some point I was diagnosed with some pinched nerves in the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't get the shooting pain down the legs. Okay. But I definitely get like localized soreness yeah. in the back. Anything that like goes into the glutes at all? Not, really. not so There's much. No, not, not that I could feel like nerve pain lines. Okay. Mostly just like... Oh, you know, so is that low back? Yeah. Okay. Old. <laughs> Not getting old. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's pop on your tummy for me first. Head at that end. Okay. If anywhere is tender, just let me know. All right. If you want to support, up. you can support your um, okay. head with your hands if you'd like. I'm gonna start on the right side here. Anything in here at all? No. Aside from it being, I played a lot yesterday, so okay. Hungry, but nothing hurts. All right. Over the left side. Anything in here? No. Okay. That's all all right? Yeah. Okay. I need tenderness with this. Okay. So kind of seeing on low back, if the um, lumbar paraspinals or the QL, they can get really, really aggravated, seeing if there's any tenderness in there or the upper glutes, which can affect hip internal and external rotation. How about this right side compared to the left? Yeah, I feel, I feel good. No pain. Okay. All right, from here, I want you to press up onto the hands so you'll get a lot of extension here through the low back. We're gonna go through five, and I just want you to tell me if you feel relief from that, if it's uncomfortable. So pushing up onto the hands. Yep. Like this? Yeah, bring your hands kind of, yep, there we go. And then lower down. Oh, like this? So there, and then come back down to the table, yeah. Bring your hands forward a little bit for me. Yeah. Good, and then propping back up. How does this position feel? Feels good. Feels good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do three more. This is called a Cobra press up. Okay. Good, one more. Four, good. Being in this position, does that feel good? Is it uncomfortable at all? No. It's okay? Yeah, it feels good. Okay, all right. Let's come off the table here. Okay. And now I want to look at flexion. So a lot of people have what's called like a movement preference either going back at lumbar extension or some people prefer going forward. So we're gonna come down, reaching for the toes. Okay. You're gonna do five, just nice and easy. And I kinda want you to think which feels better and then let me know after the five here. Like comfortable wise? Yeah. Like if you feel more relief from one or if you feel more of a stretch from one versus the other. All right, how'd that feel? Feel good. Which, do, do you have a preference, one versus the other? Like right side or left side? No, like going up or bending uh, over. Uh, more of a stretch from the cobra. Pushing up, the, okay. What, then bending over. Okay, all right, well then let's follow that up. Let's come down to the floor here and we're gonna go through um, what's called a cat-cow. Okay. Are you familiar with yoga at all? I think so, that's the one where you go. Like, Arching and that, yep, yeah. exactly. So we're gonna come down on hands and knees. Yep. We're gonna start with rounding. So you're gonna round through the back, tuck the tailbone and drop the head. Kind of push away from the floor, get a stretch between the shoulder blades. Yep. And then you're gonna reverse it, arch through the back, stick your butt out and bring your head up. Really think about sinking down through here. Yep. Good. We're gonna go through 10 of these, just back and forth. So we'll come back, round and through the back. Yep. Good, and drop it down. I feel, like I feel it in my like upper back stretch the most. Yeah. Have you played pickleball yet? I have not. Oh, man. I did a project for it in PT school. We helped a lot of the, the athletes in the area. Uh, down in Georgia, I was over oh, there. Okay. Um, but I haven't played myself. Good. All right. 
So when you're kind of in these positions and you're reaching, you're getting a lot of rotation through the low back. But if you're not warming up first in that position, it can get a little bit uncomfortable. So one of my favorite mobility exercises to do, it's called an open book. Okay. So you're going to be on your side. Top leg is going to be bent, and I want you to try to keep that knee glued down to the floor. Hands are out in front of you. You're going to give me a little reach and then open up, going as far as you can, just until that knee starts to come up and then bring it back. A little reach, open it up. Yep, so straighten, yes, yep, knee glued, yep. So give me a little reach forward and then bring it up and over. Yep, okay, you got a good bit of mobility. Good, yeah, bring it back. We'll do 10 of these. Yep, keep that knee down. Do you feel it in low back? Do you feel it more in the mid back? Where do you feel it? Okay, yep. So that's almost hitting down into the hip area there where I mentioned like the internal external rotation. Yeah. This kind of hits that whole spine up into the pelvis. You can, whatever's more comfortable. Yeah, this side's definitely tighter. Is it? Yeah, I can't. Okay, yeah, that, this shoulder is a good bit off the floor compared to the other side. Now, do you hold it on this end? You can hold it for a few seconds. Um, nice deep breath, get the ribs moving a little bit as well. Yeah, this feels good. It's one of my favorites. I can already feel it like loosening up as I'm doing it. That's what I like to hear. Now, is your back pain usually more one sided versus the other? It's kind of just in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Did you have back pain before starting pickleball at all? Yeah, you know what? I was um, in my other job, I was driving a lot. Okay. And I didn't realize, even though my wallet wasn't like that thick, yeah. just tr sitting down for extended periods of time was like messing up my alignment. Okay. So I went to see a chiropractor and he told me to take the wallet out, um, stop driving so much and that yep. helped. Okay. But um, now it doesn't, get, it doesn't get painful when I'm sitting. Now it's more just after extended periods of time of playing. Right, okay. A lot. So I'm thinking since you are in those seated positions a lot, we're gonna do something that's called a couch stretch to get some stretch through the quads and the hip flexors. Okay. If they get really short, then it kind of pulls the pelvis down here, and then that can put more extension through your lumbar spine. So we wanna stretch that out, that way the uh, pelvis and the low back can be a better posture, just like day to day when you're up moving around. All right, this is called a couch stretch, because at home you can do it off the edge of your couch, mm -hmm. or if you have any benches or anything over um, at the putt away, you can do it with the leg up on the bench. So this guy's just for balance. You're gonna bring a leg back onto the pad, drop it all the way down. And then I want you to try to keep your hips stacked. So you're gonna almost push forward and you should feel a stretch up into the hip flexor and the quad of the leg that's down. Perfect, we're gonna hang out here about 30 seconds. If you want it even more intense, you could switch this guy over to your left hand and give it a little reach with your right side. So this is really good. Say you're doing admin work all day and then you're about to go play. Hit this one first before you go out. Just because you've been sitting, we want to stretch those guys out. All right, let's come out of it. I like to come up kind of like a lunge. Yep, and then we'll do same thing on the other side. How does this left side feel compared to the right? I feel more in my leg, okay. my uh, quad. Versus the whole side? Yeah. Okay. Probably from being sitting for most of the time, those muscles get really tight, especially if there's any pooling on the pelvis. So then when he's up using, he's probably not using the core as much when he's in those bent over positions and not, then not doing any of that like rotational mobility beforehand. You're kind of cold going into being here and here. So making sure core is turned on and stretched out in the low back and the hips before you start moving. Hips have a lot to do with it. Yeah, because yeah, if you think about it, so the, what's called like the paraspinals, they go on either side of the vertebrae all the way down and they attach here to the top of the pelvis. Well, you got your glutes that are attached to the pelvis, your quads and your hip flexors attached to the pelvis, inner thighs come up and attached to the pelvis. Everything kind of relates around like the, the hips. Um, so they play a really big role in making sure like spine is nice and like loosened up, I'd say, before you go out and play a sport, but also that core is turned on. So after we go through some of these mobility things, I'm gonna show you um, just a few exercises to get the core engaged. That way when you're here, the core is turned on to protect the low back. So we'll go through one more, um, one more of my favorites for low back and then we'll get into the core stuff. It's called a flagpole stretch. So we're gonna stand on the side here, grab with one hand, you're gonna cross outside foot over, 
and then you're going up and over like this, grab and pull away. And you should feel it all down the back here. This is like a QL, it's called QL, and then it'll also hit the hips a little bit. So, right, left foot over? Yep, and then reach up and over, grab, and kind of pull away, sticking oh, your hips yeah. out. Yep. Wow. So one of the biggest culprits I find in a lower back pain is called the QL, the quadratus lumborum. It goes under the paraspinals here, and it can be really, really tender and like uncomfortable, but it gets really tight. So trying to loosen that up. Here? More on the side. Yeah. So the QL is kind of like under here, but this stretch hits all along the side there. You can also do this in a doorway, just like grab the door, door jam and okay, do it that way. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm, trying, I'm trying to think like, where am I going to grab up? Yeah, just find a door. Find a door. Wow, all right, okay. well, let's turn around and let's hit the other side. And then pull away, yep. Interesting, this side doesn't feel as tight. No? no? Well, your left side, I think you said your left side quad also felt tighter, yeah. so it sounds like left side the main issue in terms of just tightness. Feels good. Feels good? Yeah. Like, again, I've never stretched those yeah. muscles in my body before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to get into the core activation. Nothing too crazy, but let's come down to the floor. So this just puts a little bit of distance in between your knees and your hands, basically. But you're going to be on your back. I want low back, flat to the floor. That already will engage the core. Okay. And then knees are going to come up. You're going to press your knees forward and your arms down. So you should feel a little bit of a shake. Yeah, like you're trying to like sandwich it. And it should be difficult to hold. Like you should really feel that core turn on. Okay. It'll just engage things. So in between each rep, we're just gonna relax. Oh, okay. So you'll press and then relax. Bring the feet down. There we go. Yep, take a little oh, break. Okay. And you can do it in this position too. If having the legs up is too much, it accomplishes the same thing, but it can be easier to keep the core engaged this yeah, way. Yeah, it definitely is easier when the feet okay. up. Down. When you're pressing, are you holding your breath? Yeah. Try not to hold your okay. breath. <laughs> Even harder, just adding another element. All right. Man, you got me multi. <laughs> All right, I got one more for you. Yeah, let's do it. So we did the mobility. That worked the, it's called your TA, your transverse abdominis, and then the rectus. So I think like the six pack muscles okay. and the deep core. Uh, we worked into rotational mobility, and now we want to work the obliques. So getting into more like rotational strength. So we're going to do that with a um, side plank with a little reach through. Got it. So, you're going to be here, legs are stacked, knees are bent. Mm -hmm. You're going to lift up like this, arm comes up, bring it down through, little rotation, and then back up. Yep. We're going to do eight, and then we'll switch sides. How you feeling? Good. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry. yeah. <laughs> But so those are things like mobility stuff, like before you're going out into play, but also keeping up with some of that core work can really, really help when you're in these positions. Cause a lot of times we don't think about the core, but that's where the back gets really tired. Cause then those paraspinals that I keep mentioning, like they're doing all the work, but we don't want them to do the work. We want the core to do the work. Yeah. Now you got two exercises. All right. All right. <laughs> Noted. Thank Noted. Thank you so much. Of course. How have you been feeling otherwise? Like, how's the shoulders? How's upper back been? Every once in a while when I'm doing, like, upper back workouts, I'll pinch something in my upper back. And it, like, so, like, between the shoulder yeah, blades, kind of? Yeah. Like, up like in here? buried underneath there. And it, like, kills my neck. So, I haven't felt that. I haven't felt that in a while. But that's the only other thing that, like, routinely pops Yeah. Up. Is it mostly left side? Yeah. It just, it just, it just annoying. Like, yeah. You know, my neck. Feel neck, Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. You're right-handed. Okay, yeah. so that's good at least. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not bothering you while you're playing, but. No, that's. I think that's the only only thing. Also. Okay. I'm just feeling old and less energetic. <laughs> well, if you would be interested in like getting in here for actual treatment to either help the the shoulder or the low back, we can even do both in one. But oh, yeah. definitely, we're we're here to help you out. It took me 11 minutes. Okay, down, perfect. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were closer to here, if you were ever closer to Annapolis, but it's here. off uh, Route Three. Oh, perfect. We're at okay. Benfield Boulevard. Yeah. And 97. Okay. So this is perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, this was easy to get to in the middle. Of the Good. Day. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. Absolutely. We'll be back. Perfect. Looking forward to seeing you.